Today we're going to show you how to change a Copeland oil, uh, Centronic oil pump in the field. Um, step one is make sure your compressor is isolated from the system and that there's no pressure in the compressor. This Copeland Centronic oil pump is mounted on a Copeland 2D compressor. It will look similar if it's on a 3D compressor, as well as this style is on all Copeland four cylinders, six cylinders, and eight cylinders. So the next step would be make sure you disconnect um, any lines and uh, connections that you have to the oil pump or uh, if you have a uh, oil pressure sensor mounted into the oil pump as well. Next, we're then going to loosen up all the belt, uh, bolts on the compressor using a half inch socket. All right, so you, after you're done loosening up all the bolts, you take it off, take it off carefully. And then the next thing that you need to pay attention to is you're gonna get the adapter ring and put it on the oil pump. Again, you're gonna match the adapter ring um, that is the same one that's on the uh, oil pump that you took off. When you get a kit from us, you get all the different sizes based on all the different models. So for this one, it's one of the smaller ones. You take this and you could see here that one side is flat, one side is chamfered, and you're gonna wanna put the chamfer side out and the flat side against the oil pump. This will help guide it in when you go to install it. The next thing you wanna make sure that the tying is aligned properly based on the slot on the crankshaft. Um, then uh, we recommend you get the, take the oil and we recommend a light coat of oil on the fiber style gaskets. Uh, if you are using metal gaskets, which are becoming more prevalent now because of the new refrigerants, um, you do not need to put any coat of oil on the metal gasket. You take the a gas gasket that you matched up to make sure it's the exact one that you're taking off, and you uh, line it up, make sure it's in the same uh, placement as the other one. Uh, we recommend put the bolts in at this time because it helps hold the gasket when you go to install it. Then you go to put the uh, Copeland oil pump on. Again, make sure the tying, um, make sure the tying fits into place. You do not want to uh, get it partially in the place and catch the few bolts and start drawing them in without making sure that the tying is properly in the crankshaft slot. If you do so and you start drawing it in, you have a possibility of cracking the the tying on the oil pump or damaging the crankshaft. So you wanna always make sure that's properly placed. Then you uh, bolt this all together, uh, you're tying it down. You would talk these are 25 foot pounds. After that, you uh, hook up whatever lines that you had, uh, the oil pressure sensor, if your compressor has it, uh, you uh, put it in right here. You would take this plug out, put the, the brass uh, sensor uh, adapter in, and then your sensor would then screw into the adapter. And that's it, you just change your uh, Copeland Centronic oil pump.